Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. I wanted to give a six week update. Everybody's been asking, how are the girls? Wasn't gonna do one until two months, but everybody's been asking. So look at how big they are. Here's our black sex links. Look at the size of them and the feathers. They have really filled in. Now, I've been gone for four days on business and what a change. I don't know if you can see that, but just the brown feathers on that one in the back. And that other is is black. They're outdoors, by the way. We've opened up uh, a big area here, and they're out foraging, and they're doing great. Look at these sapphire splashes, just big white birds. Uh, a little bit of gray. Let me swing back over here. A little bit of gray. Well, someone sounded the alarm. But little little pieces of gray mixed in there. They're just gorgeous. All the head feathers coming in. Um, they're filling in that down, the little uh, little downy butt uh, coming in. Next one that we've got. It's hard to keep them. They're still a little skittish. But here's our calico princess. Um, just gorgeous. Getting a little bit of black feathers mixed in around her neck. Just beautiful, and again filling in there in the in the bum, getting that little downy, downy bum, and then where's our Isa Brown? Oh, one right next to me. Isa Brown. See how they've got that whiter look to them. Um, these girls are really doing good foraging. Um, the one thing I've noticed, they really get along well with the with the youngsters. You can see there's one of the. Uh, uh, Isa Brown younger girls you can see the difference between I guess they're a month now and then these girls are six weeks big tail feathers coming in um, one thing I'm noticing other than the free ranging try to let's go in and uh, see everybody indoors we've got this area let me show you what I've got a oh, place where I keep in a tower but we put up some fencing, hopefully you can see the fencing, and they've got this whole area to, to run, and then the, the big girls are on the outside. So uh, they can come face to face, but they don't, um, they can't get pecked on. Uh, they're not quite big enough to, to really mix, um, but you'll see them coming and going. They will, come on out girls, come on. Um, they'll come out and run around. I do notice a lot of flying, a lot of flapping of the wings. They are um, testing those wings out. How are you girls doing down here? They're testing their wings out and they will uh, also, a lot of running, lots of running. Um, trying to, get my shadow out of the way. They're running and then they'll go nose to nose and uh, um, fluff up their feathers. They're testing, uh, they're, they're starting that pecking order. Um, they're, uh, they're doing a lot of pecking, um, a lot of nose to nose, kind of checking each other out. And, uh, but I just love the, love the foraging out here. Keeps my food bill down a little bit, but it's uh, teaching them what they need to do. And they're doing so good at it. So anyways, a six week update. Gorgeous girls, doing well. Yeah. I will take you in for a second here, just to show you the side by side. We've got some fencing just kind of crudely put up, and one side of the fence, the bigs, and on the other side of the fence, here's all the littles. We're going to have some high temps, uh, high temps this week, so that that heat lamp that's going to be gone. Um, just got them in here. And we'll put the fan on. Um, one thing also, I guess I should note, they have been, there's about 10 of them that every night are sleeping up on the top rung. So uh, the queens have already been established a little bit on uh, who's, the, who's the top of the rung. So anyways, from the old Swedes farm and all our new little girls, uh, hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching.